Your Mac fan is way too loud? Here's how to fix it. Check CPU usage in the Activity Monitor app. Open the Activity Monitor. Click on the CPU tab. The first column will show the CPU usage of each app. The app with the most CPU will be at the top. Select a process you don't need to keep open and click on the X button at the top bar. When you're asked if you want to quit the process, click on Force Quit. Keep the air circulating. It's important for your Mac to have air circulating so it can keep its normal temperature. Don't leave it on a couch, in a hot car, and in other places with limited air circulation. It's best to keep it on an even surface like your desk not to block Mac's airways. Use an original Apple adapter. There are many opinions on third-party accessories, but it's best to use the original ones as they were made to fit your device the best. A third-party Mac adapter might be cheaper, but it can cause a lot of damage like overheating your Mac. Check your Mac for viruses and malware. You can check if your Mac is infected by using Combo Cleaner. It will scan your Mac for viruses and remove them. You can choose if you want a quick scan, full scan, or a custom scan. Reset System Management Controller The System Management Controller is responsible for managing your Mac's battery and fans. It keeps these parts running smoothly. Reset SMC to hopefully fix the loud sound issue. This method is relevant only to Macs with the Intel-powered processor. Visit our guide linked below for more information on how to reset System Management Controller. Run Apple Diagnostics To run Apple Diagnostics for Intel processor, press your Mac's power button. Then, press the D key on your keyboard at the same time your Mac starts to boot. When asked to choose the language, release the D key and select your language. When the hardware test is initialized successfully, wait for about 2 to 5 minutes. You'll get the diagnostics report. Make sure to write down the report codes you get. You can then Google the meaning of the code or contact Apple support, and they will explain it to you. To run Apple Diagnostics for Apple Silicon, press and hold your Max Power button. When you see the Startup Options window, release the Power button. Press and hold the Command and D keys on your keyboard. Then, click on I Agree. When the hardware test is initialized successfully, wait for about 2 to 5 minutes. You'll get the Diagnostics report. Make sure to write down the report codes you get. You can then Google the meaning of the code or contact Apple support, and they will explain it to you. Check Mac hardware. If nothing helps and the issue is unresolved, we suggest you take the Mac for an inspection. The problem can be related to hardware. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The disk cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.